so if you have to filter a list by using java 8 can you tell me how you will do that if a list is containing the name name of student and you need to find the names which are starting with a can you tell me how you can do that yes yes i can i i will tell you how we can uh, use it uh, those things so first of all like uh, so but for the particular collection of objects, student objects, what I will do like uh, I will take it in the one array list as something like a collection. So dot uh, dot uh, stream dot filter. So what I will do like in that particular thing, uh, the student I uh, like uh, like uh, arrow mark student like uh, what I will do like in the filter itself, I will write that uh, particular uh, uh, lambda expressions to make it uh, get the particular uh, uh, which is student object is coming uh, starts starts with a, a letter. So what I will do like uh, in the filter method, what I will do like a student a student object. It is a student object uh, arrow mark and uh, what I will do like a student dot get name dot starts with of that particular uh, letter. So that what it, this filter will uh, do like uh, it will uh, filter that particular list of students uh, which uh, which are starting with that particular uh, letter. Yeah, and if you have to collect that output in a list then what yes uh, after that one we need to define one more uh, define like uh, dot collect so if you do that one it will return a one uh, collection of object uh, we, we it will give you for, it will give for us okay so and after filter method we need to use the dot collect yes okay and what if you are you are not you don't want to collect those uh, names in a list you just want to print it print each name so in that uh, in the particular lambda expression itself we can use it uh, uh, Oh, sorry so what we can do like that particular collection dot stream dot what we can define like a fil filter then so after collecting yeah uh, we can define one method uh, so in that method we can write uh, uh, a simple uh, lambda expression that a student is a student column uh, oh, system dot out dot print and of that particular thing uh, based idea, on particular. i will give you an idea instead of using a another method you can use a existing method for each method for each a for yes, each yes, 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 yes. For each, we can use it. Or and inside the for each, yes, yes, we can, can use it for it. Yeah, you can print those values. Okay. Okay, got it. Got it. And suppose your application context is not loading; it is getting failed, and you are getting error. So, what is the first thing you will check? According to you, what can be the issue? I mean, your Spring Boot application is not starting. Yeah, application context is not loading. This is the error message you are getting. Something you need to check whether your application context is in your class path or not. Basically, it could be there. Mostly, it could be there. If it is not there, you have to ensure that whether it's loaded in your class path or not. While using OAuth 2, uh, what are the steps? So, suppose someone wants to access one of your resources. What are the steps? How this authentication flow works? Suppose first, uh, you have to create a configuration classes and extend adapter classes. Okay. No, no, in I'm, that one, I'm, I'm talking uh, about that. Suppose I want to access your site. So I have that site address. So okay. if I hit that, what will happen after that? First, you have to use a REST template. Okay. To accessing other third parties APIs. Okay. REST okay. template. And you are passing that username, password, and that URL and details. Okay. Whatever you want to fetch from other site. And you will get that response. And based on that, we can send a response to client like that. Okay. So is there any sharing of key? A rabbit AMQ like that you are? Yeah, JMS. So I want to ask like how your service accepts the authorization, how it shares the data, how it accepts the JWT token. There is a certi we... certificate. See, SSL certificate is there, right? Based on that certificate, it will access. In the new features of Java 8, there is an optional class. So why we use it? can utilize it to uh, actually bypass the not bypass but uh, to avoid uh, in many cases the null pointer exception so uh, where we uh, when we are uh, supposed to return null in this case we should return option i believe in um, in most of the software now so what that can help us do is um, that can help us to perform uh, mapping and other operations based on that same object so if it is null none of the operations happen but if it is uh, there so you can like just perform the operations not worry about whether the object is present or not present and uh, then uh, you know after that you can return whatever uh, you need i mean uh, with or else there are many statements as well so like if present you do something else you return something or th there are different clauses as well like or else or throw i mean a lot of things you can do and what is data binding in angular um data binding is like uh, when we are uh, so binding basically it, it describes when you are trying to so suppose I have to declare a field as in my form and I want to attach some information or a value, a calculated value to it. It is called a data binding. I have a string and you need to 
काउंट द अकरेंस ऑफ एवरी गिवन कैरेक्टर इन दैट स्ट्रिंग यू नीड टू जस्ट टेल मी द लॉजिक हाउ डू यू डू दैट ओके सो यू आर सेइंग दैट यू विल बी हैविंग द इनपुट एज अ स्ट्रिंग लाइक इफ आई एम टेकिंग द स्ट्रिंग एंड यू वांट मी टू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स इन दैट स्ट्रिंग या ओके सो सिंपल दिस इज योर स्ट्रिंग एज अ इनपुट देन कन्वर्ट दिस स्ट्रिंग इनटू द टू कैरेक्टर अरे दैट विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग यू द द array of characters into mm-hmm. that and then you can find the size of that uh, that array string to character array conversion what is directive in angular directive is in classes that additionally means it that adds the additional behavior to elements in your angular applications there are different directives like ng classes ng styles ng models with the help of different directives we can provide the different different behaviors to your proper code now mainly it's in component attribute directives and structure these are three main directives these three directives contain the different different ng modules for example ng class ng styles ng models it's an attribute directive with the help of uh, adding and removing class we put to add and remove class we use the ng classes so there's different types of different functionalities setting the styles we use the ng styles functional directives of the component it's in component directive so we use that for component directive to display and update we use the ng model directive then after the properties we use the ng model directive in collection we have a hash set and we have a tree set which one will be better in which scenario tree set mostly the beneficial for a searching uh, operation and a hash set is uh, mostly the beneficial for uh, like we uh, manipulation so if we have to do the manipulations of the we want to do the manipulations of the elements we will go with the hash set and a tree set uh, of course the for a searching operation is the best manipulation but in hash set already the values will be stored in random order In, inside the hash set you are asking yeah yes we can say the tree search or the tree set is the most beneficial for the searching operation as compared to the hash set i have a employee list from that you need to find out the maximum salary maximum salary so for max salary you can use max function okay so list and dot stream dot max in max i will use comparator dot comparing okay then employee then uh, scope resolution operator employee get salary and the max function actually it's returns optional so my return type so my at the re- my left hand side will be the optional employee okay and uh, and then uh, at, at the end of max i will use or else i can throw or or else get get a null or else get null so this null pointer exception i is it a checked exception or unchecked exception yes uh, this uh, null pointer exception uh, yes during the compile time we will get this null, uh, null pointer exception During the compile time, are you sure? You mean while yeah, compiling the uh, code, we will get this exception. Thing if you uh, hello. Yeah, tell me. See this null point exception. When we will get when you fetch some of the values from database, we will get null values. Or uh, uh, during uh, runtime, we will get this as during runtime. Then the compile exception is uh, yes. the compile time exception or nothing but uh, we will get the some uh, something the file not found exception, which is we are known about this compile time exception. It it will throw and the file not found error like that. It is uh, that will be considered as uh, a compile time exception. null point exception other than some other class not found error exception these are all the exception uh, in the string you have a uh, singleton mm. you have a prototype okay mm. so what can be the practical use of prototype bean if we create okay singleton is like only one instance getting created prototype yeah. is something like more than one instance if we need uh, Like every time, whenever we are making a hit or we are calling a method or we are creating a class, yeah. so in that case we need a new instance. Yeah. So in that case we are creating a prototype. If if I have an employee class, and then employee has got different values, like suppose employee ID base that and all those things, so that needs to be created as an object. another object there is one more person whose value should be stored in this value like uh, in this particular different object so that needs to be created with employee and different object so in that case i think we require to get this as different object and this is different object yeah which module of spring you have experience spring boot spring mvc but currently last 3 years i am working in spring boot only so have you used uh, actuators yes yes actuators admin feature of spring boot have you used that admin features oh, no 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 we are using spring security spring actuator spring initializer and these are the features we are using auto configurations 